Warning, read before playing. Do you get that, people? You better read it. Game is work. Uh, I'm not reading that because I don't read. <laughs> okay, why am I telling you read when I don't read? But you need to learn. You need to learn. If you want to have a good life. Okay, we got the f that skeleton face. The comp, the one of the best companies, Ubisoft. Yes, people. It's true. Hello, everybody. My name is Shavis B. Welcome to Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildland. Another new game that just came out. I just bought it. it. So, yeah, I'm really excited to play this game with you people. So, yeah, let's get started. Now it's me connecting me to the Ubisoft servers. Gamma visual. I'm gonna leave it like the this. This is how it always stays. Okay. Okay. If I want to say, okay, you do that. Okay. Okay. That was this cutscene. It's interesting. I just start. I just press start and. The game just started. Oh, this statue is on, on sale. I I saw it on a page. I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than I hope you haven't killed me. Companies I'm alive. What am I talking about? I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands. That's sad. Wiped out entire generations. But lying. That I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Okay. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization. Which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca. Produce our own cocaine. Or we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my I don't dream, know what the Yankees is. A woman's voice asked me. Sueño, mijo, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land. I hope so. Bolivia. Bolivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself. On the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. Okay. I hope you Of creating a narco state. I hope it, that is true. The nation of Santa Blanca. I don't know who's Santa Blanca. I've heard Santa Blanca so many times in so many places. Maybe they were talking about this game. That creepy face. Okay, calm, codes, technology, Last all of them. Week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts undenied have identified it, the individual it, in the photo undenied as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Okay. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Yes, of course. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Santa Blanca. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed Unidad. It's interesting how they are putting like real videos, like in real life. Thousands of bodies later. Politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. Of course. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. Oh, sorry, my no lips. Options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. I should do completion my lips. I should do that. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, 
They also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño. So his name is El Sueño, okay. So El Sueño, okay. Okay, so finally we can create our own character. Okay, it's either make a male or female. I'm gonna make it a male. I'm gonna make Seamus. Seamus, like the rest of like my channel is Seamus me, but I'm gonna make Seamus. So yes, let's get started. And you will post in the comment if he looks like Seamus, yes or no. Or I will do a short voting. Okay, he's so Murphy, Walker... I think that Mason was good. I don't know if he's that white. I, I'm selecting the Sparky. If he's Irish, I'm gonna make it green. Okay, so what? I'm gonna make it goatee. Here, now we got not shaved. There it is, Mohawk. Yes. It's not that big of a Mohawk like Sh Seamus has, but it will work. It will work. Red. Because Seamus is red. I'm gonna put only one on that eye. Okay, so let's do the appearance now. Nah, he looks like a nerd with that. No, I'm not gonna paint anything on his face. Tattoos. Actually, Seamus doesn't have tattoos. Why would I put tattoos? Nah, I'm not putting anything. Okay, tops. Let's go on the beginning. Okay, polo shirt. We got that. We got... I, I want to select a, the jacket. Yeah, the, and I select the cool collar. Actually, Big Show used to wear a uh, blue one, so uh, I think I'm gonna select that one. This one. Oh my gosh, he looks so good with that. Oh, let's put something here? Nah, 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 I'm not putting anything. Okay, is there any, like, just blue? I want to put just blue. Okay, there is no... Okay. Okay. I'm gonna select that one. Work boots. Because it leads on a village, so. Okay, I'm gonna select that one. No, I'm not putting anything on that one either. Wait, patches? That's new? Yeah, I'm just putting that one.
Pudusa. Nah, I'm not putting on those. Headwear. Okay, so some of those was like an Irish. He has this, but I'm not gonna put that. I know Seamus wears that, but I'm not gonna put it because that doesn't look good on him. I just wanna, like, show his mohawk. Okay, so we can put headset, but I'm not putting him. Let's put some badass gloves. Like these ones. Okay, no, I did not mean that. Okay, I, I selected. This is like the same color. It will be like invisible. No special outfits are just the same. I mean, that's it. Do you like Seamus? Look, the pants, the jacket, the hair. If he looks like Seamus, the new Seamus, post in the comments down below if he a little bit looks like him. Because I know that he doesn't like 100% look like him, but a little bit looks like him. So, I hope you like it. Yeah, so let's save the character and... RK, regular, advanced. Regular. I'm not gonna... It's the normal mode. I want to be in normal. This video has been over 11 minutes. I mean, this might be almost the end. I know I haven't, like, walked anything, but it's been too long. Actually, I don't want to make such a long video. So, I mean, the ending is almost there, so let's just end it. Okay. Spinsies, do spinsies. If that was a fidget spinner, nah, 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 it's just a rolling thing. It doesn't have anything. It would have been a stupid fidget spinner. Like it showed ninety five percent, like out of nowhere. It's just like, boom. Why did you not show us since the beginning? Is it because it's slow? Maybe the internet connection. I hope not. Ubisoft presents. Okay, so this uh, will be probably the presentation of the game. Uh, Ubisoft Paris production. Okay. Hey, there's me! That looks like a lady Fisher from Uncharted. The agent they murdered. You know him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. That's a shitty name for Seamus. Why does he just have the normal name? Like, fella! Guess you've been down here a while. I've been living as Karen Bowman. Okay, the game did not let me change the voice. It's their fault. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. I actually, I would change the voice, but he did that. For voice, so it? leave it. A flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. He smells like ass? Ew, I don't want to stay with him. I hope he doesn't poop his pants. Gross. Field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved. Nah, must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman. International aid worker. I'm sure you've seen 
seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. El Sueño is a strong fighter. It was a huge humongous. It was like a juggernaut. It's impossible to kill him. Do you get that? He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. Money and the power, yeah. What you gonna know? That song is amazing. My, one of my favorite songs. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a king Operation Kingslayer. Locals. So we're gonna slay the, the king 26. in the operational the mode? That's, that's weird and gross. We'll meet their leader, Pakatari, soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Okay, it's a little uh, shitty house and a guy standing there waiting for us to come. If that's our guy, are we just gonna kill him and steal his house? I don't know. Alright, he seems like he's with us, so okay, we just come back. He looks like an Indian guy. Soldiers, this is the help you promised. That Sandoval promised. A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my We're hundreds experts. Of from? As Americans, we aren't here. Remember? We're experts. I'm Shabas. I got the. I got the magical mega bro kick. Hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Okay, I, that was stupid as well. Leader of the resistance group How many times have I said stupid? I do a lot of stupid stuff. Okay. I'm sorry, people. Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There's no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Yes, you Amaru just gotta believe. Him. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via satellite. Don't worry. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important. Don't worry. Because Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. Yes, we will kill him and we will make him suffer. We will make him answer our questions. We will make him. No! We will kill him. That was too much. Actually, we were not supposed to kill him. Why did I say that? I'm being just dumbass. Okay, people, so I'll end this episode right here. If you want to see me play more of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, don't forget to broke that like button in the face. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!